Yo, what's going on, guys? Okay, so I got another battle here for you all, and uh, I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been pretty busy, you know, with the giveaway that I was doing on my channel earlier, and with other stuff, and uh, also I've been trying to save for a capture card, and I know they're pretty expensive, they're like 200 bucks and up, so I'm currently saving up for that. I don't have the money at the moment, which sucks because I really, really want a capture card, you know, be able to upload my battles a lot more. A lot more crisp and clear as soon as how I'm using the HD camera, which is pretty good, but you know, nothing beats a capture card. So, anyways, enough about that. Let's just get on to the battle here. This one's against this one guy called Waka, and as you can see, he's uh, using an all Uber team here. And uh, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to make a series of these kind of battles because I've encountered so many people with Uber teams on Battle Spot. It's not, it's not even funny. I mean, well, it is kind of funny because they end up getting owned most of the time. So. You know, I have several of these that I want to upload pretty uh, pretty soon, so this is the first one of many. I'm probably going to name it something like Taking Down Uber is Part 1 or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's get on to the battle here. This guy's going to throw out his Lugias, Kyogre, and Gengar. And I came up with a team that, uh, it's obviously a Trick Room team. And I start off with my Kofag, Ampharos, and Klefki. And usually what I do here is, uh, I set up my I set up the walls with the Klefki, you know, reflect and light screen, and then afterwards I use my Kofag to do trick me while I mega with my Ampharo. You know, Ampharo is pretty damn bulky. Uh, he's probably one of the bulkiest uh, megas out there, and uh, that's the reason why I use him for this. Obviously, because he has low, slow as hell speeds that that he has. So, you know, trick me kind of boosts his. Uh, is uh is using power because of that oh, using power whatever <laughs> it boosts his uh his usage because he's slow as hell otherwise you know? so yeah he, um let's see Kyogre is gonna try to do well he did bring a water spell usually I forget Kyogre Kyogres usually do water spell here people use choice scarf and you just water spell your ass and he did that he did that to me there it was kind of scary almost took out my Kofag and Clef either but I'm able to do uh my uh, my first wall there with Cliff Heat and uh, I did Trick Room as well on the other turn so I'm able to go first now and I do Thunderbolt finally take off that Kyogre which is which needed two Thunderbolts to take him out and he's pretty bulky as hell too special defense is pretty high so he goes with his Genesis here he's trying to go to the flame throw with my uh, to my Ampharos and obviously I'm gonna do Jack Squat so he does his light screen with Lugia, which is kind of surprising. Usually, I see people just attack away with Lugia, but he has a light screen up, and uh, it's gonna make him more bulky here. So what I do is I go for the Will O' Wisp on his Dragonite. It's the first thing I want to do. Even though I do go after Dragonite the next turn, I just want to make sure you know his attack is good enough with that uh, Will O' Wisp. And with that said, I take out his uh, Lugia with my Thunderbolt, and I go for the Dragonite because I know it's obviously gonna be. Most likely, it's going to be physical when it is. He does an uh, outrage here. Uh, he barely survives Ampharos, but it's not enough for my Cliff to survive. He takes him out with the So, that goes my Cliff. He, uh, he did his job. You know, his job is to set up the walls, and that's pretty much what he did. And he takes it now. So, I sent out my Conkulder there. And he is one badass, let me tell you. He has a muscle band. Iron Fist, and he has Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, uh, Drain Punch, and the Fire Punch. So he's pretty, pretty much of a beast there. So that again, that actually I was going for uh, Genesis. There you go. I thought I was gonna go for Genesis with my uh, Conqueror, but no, I go for the Ice Punch on my Dragon, on the Dragon Knight. So I take him out, and he has, I believe, I think one or two more Pokemon left. I took his team down pretty quick. And he's barely taken out all three of my starters here. So he takes them out. Oh, actually, he hasn't taken out my Kofag yet, but he's about to take them out. He has low HP. I sent out my Silking here. And he sends out his Dark Pride. So I'm like, okay, I know where he's going with this. You know, obviously, people spam freaking Dark Void like crazy with Dark Pride. I have not seen any other strategy with him. Just pure. Dark Void, and that's usually a good way to go with him because that's pretty much what he's there for. So what I do now is I Dream Punch his ass, and that's just gonna take him out big time, regardless if he had an HP full or not. The only thing that might have saved him is if he had a freaking Focus Ash, you know. But I could have just double teamed him anyway. Like I did. 
So anyway, he's gonna go on here and try to hit my slow king, and it does pretty much like, pretty good amount of damage here. That rain is off now, which is uh, pretty much useless for any of us. And he's gonna end up uh, committing suicide here with Genesec, because that's pretty much all you can do. And even so, he does not even take none of none of them out at all. So there goes the battle, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I have played more of these uh, Uber team battles that I, you know taking them out pretty easily like this and uh, if you guys want to see more hit that like and subscribe button stay tuned for for more of these battles i have plenty more plenty more to show and upload and as always i'll see you guys next time